Howdy all, lovely to see you all again. Uh, so in many countries in the world, uh, today we are celebrating Mother's Day and I've had a delightful one with my, uh, my own mother. I've managed to speak to my stepmom, which is great. And of course, I have spent some time with my wife and my son, my wife, the wonderful mother of my child. So it's been a lovely day. I wasn't gonna make a video, um, but I just had a little incident that I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm at the gym doing my Sunday workout because I don't wanna be fat and bald. Uh, one of them is enough. So I'm at the gym doing my thing and uh, my wife calls me and says, you need to come home. Alexi is looking for you. He refuses to go to sleep because he doesn't think you're coming back. He's looking for you. He can't find you. You have to come home. I'm like, shit, all right, I'm gonna go home. Don't, don't think about it, just Go, go be with your son. So I open the front door and he's like, Dada, Dada. And I go up and I hug him and he, he's thought I'm never gonna come back. So this is a really, really good moment for him. We sit down, I read him a story and then he starts pointing at his book and he's like, that, that, that. And I'm like, all right. So I put him into bed and he's like, Dada. He curls up into his bed and he goes to sleep. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, shit, okay. So that's the most important thing in my life right now. I had a conversation with my wife a few days ago about putting one more day aside uh, because at the moment I'm working full, basically full time uh, and then in all of the spare time that I have on my days off, I'm trying to spend it with my family. Uh, I do one jam a week with uh, my wonderful friend Crystal Ignite who I'm riding with and the rest of the time I'm going to baby music class or I'm going to swimming lessons or I'm just doing dad stuff. I was saying to my wife, well, maybe we should consider cutting down on one of his activities and then putting him in daycare for another day so I can spend time making YouTube videos and catch up on working on chrisuper.com and write more music and I can actually practice, you know, stuff. I'm trying to learn Constant Motion by Dream Theater. I've been putting that off for two years and Sea of Lies by uh, Symphony X. You know, these are really, really high intensity solos that require a lot of practice that I'm just not being able to get with juggling work and the daddy thing. And, um, you know, I just, I just, I guess I had a light bulb moment tonight where I'm like, all right, maybe your shred skills are fading with age. You're not going to be as aggressive with, you know, the 10 hours a day I used to have when I, you know, lived at home and I didn't have a wife and son to support. And um, I think it could be very, very easy for me to prioritize practice and trying to succeed and uh, do more songwriting and churn out books and uh, original material at a faster rate. But I just sort of had that light bulb moment tonight where I was like, it's okay for you to not be such an aggressive achievo jerk. You know, at the end of the day, all of your wife and your son really want out of you is to a degree some financial stability. So like keep a roof over their heads and keep them fed, but they don't need yachts or uh, speed boats or ridiculously exorbitant holidays. Uh, for me to just go overboard with achieving things and making money. They just want to spend time with their husband or their dad. And um, I think a lot of musicians will reach this crossroad um, at some point in their lives where they go, well, do, do I want to have kids or do I not want to? And I've, I've obviously already made that choice. But I just guess I had a really, really big moment when I realized that my son couldn't bear to uh, go to sleep without knowing where I was. And that's why the idea of touring... Uh, even just interstate, let alone international, internationally scares the crap out of me because um, if he can't bear to be without me for one night and I've also been in that situation where I've been interstate and I'm just like, crap, this feels so weird to not be with my family. So sorry to get all mushy on you guys. Uh, if any of you have had similar experiences or similar crossroads or, um, you know, had these epiphanies about, you know, practice and work ethic versus family, uh, please uh, chuck a link in the comments. This was more of a... Uh, emotional rant a bit of therapy for me to just sort of digest my ideas and have a bit of a think anyway i love you all thank you for sharing this with me i'll catch you all very soon